Let's have a look at perpendicular vector addition. This is when we add vectors together that aren't linear. So, so far we've only been looking at what happens if we add vectors that are in the same plane, right? They're both in the, both in, in the x direction. And this has been very fun. But what happens if our vector actually are in two different dimensions? Well, if this happens, again, don't fret, let's use the same methodology that we've had before. Let's say this is eight meters and this is four meters. What was our previous methodology? Well, we always added the tip to the tail, right? We always added the tip to the tail. So let me have eight meters here, four meters here. And remember, the reason why we add tip to tail is because if I have a little man here, the vector basically says, I'm going to transport your body from this location to this location. And then the second vector says, okay, from this location, I will now transport you upwards by four meters. Now that we can see this, we can now begin to um, determine his total displacement. So we can see that this should be our total displacement. And our total displacement is again the total distance from where we started to where we ended. We can figure that out. Um, if you think about it, we could probably use Pythagoras to determine the distance between this point and this point, which is the definition of displacement. So now we can determine the length of the vector r, and so that's going to give us r is equal to r squared by Pythagoras, r squared is equal to 4 squared plus 8 squared, right? So therefore r is equal to the square root of 4 squared plus 8 squared and that's going to give us 8.9 meters. That gives us the length of the vector, so that's pretty good, but, we, but remember that displacement has both a length, a magnitude, as well as a direction, the angle theta. So let's also figure out this angle theta. I can say that tan theta is equal to opposite, which is the four meters, over my adjacent, which is the eight meters. So I can therefore say that theta is equal to the tan inverse of 4 over 8, which gives me about 26 degrees. So I can say that the overall displacement is 8.9 meters at 26 degrees above horizontal. So let's have a look at this example. We have one vector pointing towards the left at 13 meters, with another vector pointing upwards at 8 meters. Let's have a go at this. So we can do, again, the tip to tail. So I'll put my 13 meters here. So we want to put this vector, the second vector, at the tip of the first one, right? So I want to grab this vector, I want to put it here. Again, we can see we have tip of this 13 meter vector to the tail of this eight meter vector. And what does that mean? Well, I can now begin to draw on my resultant vector in red, half of resultant. Let's figure out what the length of R is. So we're gonna, so again, it's gonna R squared is equal to eight squared plus 13 squared. So therefore, r is equal to the uh, square root of 8 squared plus 13 squared, which is going to equal to um, 15.3 meters. We can also determine what the angle theta is. Tan theta is equal to 8 over 13. Therefore, theta is equal to 10 inverse of 8 on 13 is equal to 31.6 degrees. So we can say that our resultant vector, uh, we can say that this is uh, east, uh, west. So if we point west and then we go up towards the north, if we go 31.6 degrees upwards towards the north. Or we can say 31.6 degrees above the horizontal again, that's fine as well.
I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next video, we'll add uh, two dimensional vectors together. I'll see you there. We offer physics, chemistry, and math tutoring. For more insightful explanations like this one, head to our website, tutorgum.com.